Thank you, Miyuki. Lie like you and miss on the grass. Grandpa wakes Ollie to greet the wind. Close on his heels, Miyuki tries to mimic him. Arm in the air, rifle lifted, she falls to the ground. Grandpa, Tai Chi is too hard. Content and smiling, Grandpa dances slowly, his arms drawing curves in the sky. Miyuki bounces up and down, restless. Grandpa, let's do some else. Patience, Miyuki. Can't you see? I'm taking care of myself. Grandpa asks, I can take care of you too, Grandpa. I'll make you some tea. Miyuki flutters away quick as a butterfly to make some tea. She moves so fast, she studies the sleeping birds on her painted porcelain tea set. But Grandpa doesn't hear her clattering. She fills the teapot with cold, clear water and sets it down next to the cheap teacups on the garden table. Grandpa, it's ready. Grandpa, are you sleeping? Grandpa sits peacefully, his legs closed, his eyes closed. He doesn't move when Miyuki waves a fan, cooling his face. When he finally opens his eyes, Miyuki frees in place, still as a statue. What is it, Miyuki? Grandpa, I made some tea for you. Thank you, Miyuki, but I just want a moment to meditate. What's meditate? Is it a game? Tell, teach me. I want to meditate too. Grandpa regards Miyuki with delight and gives her a kiss. Very well, Miyuki. Let's drink that delicious tea you kindly made. Grandpa shares the cold water with Miyuki, paying close attention to all the flavors she describes, savoring it as if it were a rare tea. When do we start to meditate, Grandpa? Without a word, Grandpa stands up and begins to walk calmly down the garden path. Miyuki follows him. While Grandpa regards the ground beneath his feet, Miyuki bounces ahead of him. When do we start to meditate, Grandpa? Grandpa takes Miyuki's hand, and together they watch the bees hovering, the stones standing still, the grass slowly growing. When they reach the river, Grandpa watches the water. Giggling, Miyuki throws in twigs and watches them float away. When do we start to meditate, Grandpa? Grandpa sits Miyuki next to him and shows her the light playing on the water. Miyuki, look at the water, not the flow, not the twigs floating by. Only the water in front of your eyes. Grandpa lies down in the soft grass and Miyuki settles against him. When Miyuki looks at the clouds, she sees thousands of shapes. I see a fox, a hen, no, a lamb, a horse, a bird, she, shout, she shouts. What do you see, Grandpa? Grandpa smiles, satisfied just to be lying in the warm sun, feeling each blade of grass beneath him with Miyuki at his side. I see a cloud, Miyuki, a cloud watching a grandfather and his granddaughter. Miyuki looks at the cloud again and tries to see just clouds, but her mind wanders. Grandpa, uh, does this little cloud have a grandfather too? Yes, Miyuki, and I'm sure that he's watching over her. When little raindrops begin to fall, grandfather, grandpa, grandpa doesn't move. Laughing, he opens his mouth to taste them, and Miyuki does too. As the day gets dressed for night, grandpa and Miyuki take a tranquil walk back home in front of the garden gate. Grandpa stops to smell a rose before it closes. 
Grandpa shows Milky the rose. She closes her eyes and breathes in its sweet perfume. But Grandpa, when will we meditate? Milky, we have meditated all day long. When you walked on the path in silence, admiring the garden, the bees, the stones, and the grass, we meditated. When we sat by the river and looked at the water in front of us, without following its flow, we meditated. When we watched the clouds, without changing them into anything else, simply appreciating what we saw, we meditated. And when we taste the tea and the rainwater, we meditated? Yes. And when we smelled rose, we meditated? Yes, Milky. Grandpa, we have meditated. Yes, Milky, we have. Milky stops and takes Grandpa's hand. Grandpa, doesn't it feel good to be here right now? Yes, my dear girl, it feels good to be here right now with you. Thank you, Milky. Grandpa gives her a hug. And Milky breathe in and Milky meditate.